Hey guys, Farah from Inspire Me Home Decor and I am so, I know I say this a lot, but I am really excited about this video because I'm finally giving you a full reveal of my walk-in closet and a lot of you have been asking about it on Instagram, I know, but I thought since I did a little bit of teasers here and there, I thought the best way to give you a full reveal is through my YouTube channel so you can get a full tour of it and get my thought process and what I did and all the good stuff. So here's the thing, before I get started, I want to give you a little backstory. This closet was always here. It was always a walk-in closet, but I had more of those metal shelves. And so as soon as we bought the house, my husband and I thought about it and talked about it. And we agreed that, you know, eventually we would completely remove these shelves and replace them with more of a custom look with wooden shelves everywhere. Nine years later, I'm so excited to reveal that my dream came true you guys so i have this glam elegant closet that i've always wanted now here's the thing for those who don't have the space it is okay it's not about the space it's not about having a full room like this it really is about being organized so even if you have a smaller space you know with these metal bars i think remove those metal bars bringing in wood shelving bringing in wood hanging space will really help with the organization you know and i think it's a great investment so let's stop talking and let's begin the fun. I'm going to give you the full tour. I'm going to show you where I added a little bit of my personal touches and then what I thought or what I did with this space, um, what was my thought process and what I wanted to really focus on. I really hope you enjoy this tour. Let's get started. So Modular Closets is the company that I went with. Modular Closets is more of a DIY organizational system, but I am not a self-proclaimed DIY person when it comes to these things, you guys. So I had a handyman at hand to do all of the installation for me, and I highly recommend that. So what we did was the first thing I had to do was send out the measurements of this room. The next step was to try to figure out my needs and wants for this space. So I really made it clear that the first thing I needed was extra storage. So added drawers, added shelving, more space to add my clothes or to hang my clothes. And so Modular Closets took these notes and created a plan for me. We tweaked it here and there a little bit, went back and forth a little bit, but they were very welcoming with my suggestions. And when I got to the point where I felt like, okay, this is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I need. Um, that's when they start sending you your closet pieces for you to install. So the first thing we had to do in here was remove all of the metal shelving fill out the holes and then paint all the walls. Now with any project, sometimes unexpected things do pop up. Like this project here, obviously something had to happen, right? Nothing could go just smoothly. So I was planning on leaving the carpeting that I had originally here and maybe tackle that project a few months or a few years down the road. The carpeting was in good condition. I wanted that warm, um, you know, just the warm texture under my feet, but Unfortunately, we couldn't leave the carpeting because we had to cut around all of the shelving unit that you see, um, which made the carpet shift as we walked in here. So we made the decision to completely remove the carpeting and replace it with wood floors. So I reached out to the flooring company that I used uh, when I was redoing my main floor. Luckily, they had in stock the same wood floors that I had used in uh, my lower level. And what I love about this is the two or the three different brown shades in here. So we reused that and it really just, I think what it took was about three to four hours for my handyman to install the wood floors because of the small space in here. And we were good to go and move on to the next step. So one of the most important things that I really wanted in this space was a shoe rack for all of my shoes. So what I did was I had my handyman go out to Home Depot, you guys. He bought this um, trim for me, had it spray painted in the same color as the shelving and had it installed around the shoe rack and all over the shelving units here in the closet for more of that custom look. So you know 
when you find something that you absolutely love and you do the happy dance? Well, that's what I did when I found these gray washed drawer fronts. Originally, my drawer fronts were supposed to be just the white looking ones, just like the rest of the shelvings. But when I saw these, I knew I had to have them because it brings in texture. It brings in that um, mix and match of material that I love so much. So what I did was I removed the handles that came with them and I bought these crystal knobs from Home Depot and had them installed in here for that glam look so that you're bringing in that rustic glam elegant look that I love so much. And what I also did was I used the same knobs on the island drawers as well for that matching look. Islands! Who doesn't love islands in their walk-in closet if you can have them? They look great, but they also do serve as extra storage because we get a lot more drawer space. And on this end, I have shelving in here. So it is perfect. It also adds more counter space. This island was bought from another source. It came in a box and we had to assemble it. And it was perfect for me because I love the quartz countertop that it comes with. It adds that glam look to the space and it was the perfect piece that I needed here. Now here's the thing, to be honest with you, at first I was a little worried because this island and the measurement of it almost felt like it would be too big for the space. And we had to wait a little bit until the shelvings were starting to you know, go up and we had to measure and make sure that it would actually fit in here and not take up too much space. So luckily, phew, it worked out and now I have my dream island in my closet. you guys so I might have been guilty of actually buying these before even starting this whole closet project the reason I wanted to do this is I wanted a more cohesive look when it came to the hangers I had the plastic and the metal hangers before which was very frustrating because my clothes would slip off of them all the time and I didn't like that so the non-slip hangers are perfect they're the velvet finished all around I also love the idea that now I no longer have to get that bulge on the shoulders um, when you hang your clothes on the metal and plastic. So I took everything out and I rehung all of my clothes and then I had them, I, I brought them back in and organized them by color. Now this makes my life a lot easier when I'm getting ready in the morning. So what's the point of really getting organized if you don't have organizational tools, right? Well, for a closet, that means hangers that will help you better get organized. So what I did was I went to Amazon and I typed in the keyword velvet beige hangers and every single velvet beige hanger out there popped up on my page, which made my life a lot easier. And I shopped until I dropped. So here's what I did. I am a huge fan of scarves and these scarves were taking off a lot of space in my closet. So I bought this um, scarf hanger, check it out. It's perfect and I was able to hang all of my scarves on one hanger, perfect. Um, another thing that I did you guys is I went ahead and I got this four -tier tiered hanger for pants. These are perfect for my husband's pants and my pants. Instead of having to hang one pants at a time, I have four on here and that is a huge uh, space saver for me. These over here, what I used to do with my pants and my skirts is I used to fold them away. And when I was ready to wear them, they were all wrinkled, which was very frustrating and would take up time for me to have to iron them. So I bought these hangers and now they each have space to get hung. Finally, one of the things that I've always wanted to do is I like to buy sets of things like a suit and a pant suit and the jacket. Um, and I had an issue before where I would find the jacket and had no idea where the pants were and vice versa. So now I can hang them together thanks to these um, velvet hangers and they're together and hung in one space. I go up there, I, I pick the outfit that I want to wear and I'm good to go. I love that I can finally display my bags the way I've always wanted to, but here's the best part. The moment that I feel like I need more space for my clothes, I can easily remove these bags and 
display them on top of the shelving unit and then use this as shelving for my clothes. A room is never complete without the final touches. The statement chandelier was one of the biggest items that I knew I had to have in here and it didn't disappoint. This piece is from Z Gallery. The final touches that also completed this room is this shag rug under my feet. The trim that went on the cabinets and on the shelving for more of that custom look. The crystal knobs from Home Depot and finally the island with the quartz countertop. watching I hope that you guys have enjoyed the tour and you have found that the tour has been informative enough and inspired you for your next closet project thank you and until next time